Magnesium and potassium, these are two elements that are sadly and woefully deficient in the American diet, the standard American diet, otherwise the anachronism is known as SAD, magnesium and potassium. And the reason is that the processing of foods removes most of the magnesium and potassium from our foods. So, magnesium is very important to, for the mitochondria of the cell. It's, it can give you energy. Also, massive doses of magnesium can also help repair the heart. When we used to have the old paleo diet, the ratio from uh, magnesium to calcium was practically 1 to 1. Now the ratio is 1 to 15. A lot of times people are really getting um, led astray by taking calcium tablets. We normally have more than adequate calcium in our diet normally in a standard American diet, but again, we are woefully deficient in magnesium, and this is because the processing of the foods removes the magnesium from the food. It doesn't destroy the magnesium, of course, but it removes it from the food. So what happens, though, is like magnesium, like I said, it, it has a number of functions and also a number of brain functions. People have anxiety, anxiety, depression, also sometimes have anger issues or whatever. The problem is a lot of times it's nutritional deficiencies, and we are abundant in nutritional deficiencies, and we sometimes are the medical profession. Now, not all the medical profession does this, but the profitable thing is actually to prescribe things to, um, you know, adjust for the anxiety, which is many times it's dulling of the mind that does that. We don't want to really do that. We want to be sharp and alert. We just don't want to have anxiety issues or things like that. And a lot of times it is just a de deficiency in a vitamin or a mineral. Magnesium stands out. Um, potassium, potassium, basically there's the potassium-sodium uh, balance. Now here I'm showing ATP. This actually has a lot to do with the magnesium in our energy levels. But there's also the potassium-sodium balance. We have a shortage of potassium in our diet, and this is mainly due to the processing of foods. Um, actually, sodium is extremely healthy for you. Uh, Edgar Casey named that as one of the four things that is extremely essential to the body, which was sea salt. He also named iodine. Uh, I forget the other two off the top of my head, but I know sea salt was on a, near the top of the list. But the problem is we don't have enough potassium to balance out with the sodium. Now, another caveat is, you know, I mentioned about taking baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate or even taking baking soda mixed with lemon juice, you get a, like a fizz out of it. It makes type of a type of a seltzer water with a slight lemon taste to it. That's very helpful, but it's actually more helpful to take potassium bicarbonate, which you can get food grade, and mix it with the lemon juice and make that seltzer water. You have to be careful when you mix it because it does fizz up a lot. You have to use a very large glass. But the problem is, like I said, it's not so much that our diets are too much salt or too much calcium. It's the balance of the, the salt or sodium to potassium and the balance of calcium to magnesium. Now, another item to actually take with magnesium, that um, with uh, magnesium, and like I said, you have enough calcium, is boron. Boron will not only help build the bones, but also it helps regulate the uh, sexual hormones in the body, uh, if you're too low or the, the balance is wrong, like every male and female has both sexual hormones, estrogen and testosterone, but in different ratios. But if your ratio is, like in the males, like it's a problem where they have too much estrogen, but if you want to bring up your free level testosterone levels, your free testosterone levels in the blood, stream boron will work with that and that is i've thrown that in here because there isn't one simple thing that is the be-all answer but in a lot of ways the magnesium and the potassium are very strong answers in the modern society because the processing of foods removes these two essential elements that would have been in abundance in the paleo diet and a lack of magnesium will cause anxiety issues, which is, seems to be a popular problem in today's society. So, I only have anxiety issues when I can't get something done because somebody prevents me from doing it. But, other than that, I am happy and everything's fine with me. So, 
One of the problems, though, we have, though, there's no monetary incentive to prescribe potassium for issues where, you know, too much salt is bad for the heart. You know, they'll tell you to go on a low-sodium diet, but just, it really it's you need to raise your potassium. And there's no monetary incentive to prescribe magnesium or boron to go along with the magnesium and your, your already uh, abundant supply of calcium because, well, it's just it's not a moneymaker. It's not a money maker, so they're not going to do it. Uh, but you know, some, but a lot of times, these issues are not just physical. That the, the physical problems occur from a lack of these nutrition nutritional deficiencies, which they say are really from the processing of food removes these things. And also, the, when we're growing our food, a lot of times now that the soils have been depleted so much that to, to grow the plant. They do not need to have magnesium in the soil for the plant to grow robustly. But once it's depleted, you know, there you go. And magnesium, a lack of magnesium can also cause depression, which, you know, that's another moneymaker. But if, if you you can also, there's other things out there. I know that you can also uh, raise your NAD levels, which is your, uh, it's a coenzyme, which also has to do with longevity. And you can raise your NAD levels which with nicotinic acid, which is a natural form of vitamin B3. I like to throw that in here. But, um, you know, I'm really concentrating mainly on magnesium and potassium. And they're very simple things to get. In other words, you can take, for potassium, you can eat a banana. Or, um, you know, one thing I like, and I know some people say it's not the perfect thing to do, but V8 vegetable juice, they have a low sodium content. V8 vegetable juice, it actually has a high amount of, of um, potassium in it. And some people will criticize me because, well, it's in a can or whatever. Well, you know, I mean, you can take things to the nth degree, but that's not that's a lot better than what most people are doing. And magnesium supplements, they're very, very cheap. Actually, I take magnesium in the morning, and I may take magnesium at night when I take um, Nature's Way Whole Food Alive Vitamins. So I have that magnesium right next to it. Uh, so I make sure I have enough of that. And I also do take the boron in an occasion. So I have actually excellent energy levels. I do get a lot of things done. Um, mental clarity is excellent. Uh, I can recall things, details from many years ago that I have not even thought about. Um, so, I mean, I, I, you know, for me, it works great. It works great. And... And there's absolutely, I, I see nothing wrong where I have a problem with anything, to tell you the truth. I know so many experts that are financially inclined to find problems with anybody would probably disagree with that. But, you know, my point is that many of these experts would be, uh, that are professionals that prescribe all these pharmaceutical drugs would probably be out of business if everybody was aware of and educated in the use of using natural elements in natural herbs. But in this case, it's just natural elements. Uh, it's not an herb. It's just an element. Magnesium and also potassium. Magnesium to balance out the magnesium-calcium ratio. And also potassium to balance out the potassium-sodium ratio. Potassium to salt ratio. Because we have too much salt in our diet. And we have too much um, uh, calcium in our diet. And it's not really that we have too much of that. It's that we don't have enough of the other thing that balances it out. I mean, that's more correctly uh, elaborated on if I said that correctly uh, but anyway I just want to present this information in simple fashion our ancestors and we we're talking like our ancestors practically before prehistoric times when a woolly woolly man mammoth was around they had ratios of uh, potassium to sodium of practically one to one and also from magnesium to calcium of practically one to one whereas today we got like 1 to 15 or 1 to 15 in both areas. And that is why our bodies are not functioning and our brains are not functioning as well as we have our ancestors have in the past. But fortunately, we do have computers to look, look things up for us that we don't have to retain everything as they used to have to do in the past. Um, but, you know, the thing is, we could do much better. We could do much better. If we have a sharp mind, a healthy body, and we have the access to all the information on the Internet, and we can archive everything on our own computers, we're going to be that much better at everything we do. So this is simple advice. It's very cheap. It's, it's 
it's uncomplicated to do. It's very safe to do. And it's a winner all around. And again, one of the side effects of, you know, the magnesium, taking the magnesium is you will have more energy. And one of the side effects of potassium, taking potassium, it really alleviates the problem of having too much sodium in your diet because it's not really so much too much sodium. It's the balance from potassium to sodium. So if you add the potassium, it alleviates that problem, which you always hear doctors harping on, you know, cut down on the sodium. But if you raise your potassium, you're not going to have a problem because sea salt is actually very, very vital to the body. And I trust what Edgar Casey used to say about it. That was being one of the top things that you need for great health. Anyway, overnight, over and out, very simple advice, and uh, enjoy life and be healthy.